I'm Chef Alex Hahn. Today we're going to make a delicious burger recipe using Atlantic salmon. We're going to start off with a little bit of salmon mince. This is just some end pieces of our scrap, maybe some of the belly meat, some of the tail ends or head ends. We're going to put it into our food processor. We're going to take about eight ounces worth. We're gonna add in some egg white, just about one, one and a half. A little bit of cornstarch. This is just gonna help bind. Some fresh dill, some salt, pepper. We're gonna assemble our food processor. We're gonna run this for a few minutes and just add in our cream. So that was about 100, 150 mil of cream. Now, we're going to open this back up, scrape down the sides, and we're going to add another 8 ounces of salmon. What we're doing here is just adding some texture, so we have some smooth salmon and then a little bit of chunk. What I like using with this, this is just some excess trim. When I'm butchering a salmon or filleting it, there's always a little bit of belly meat or some end pieces that are great just to save and use up in dishes like this. Just for a quick second, just to incorporate, not to completely blend it. From this point, we're going to grab a sous vide bag. If you don't have sous vide bags or backpack bags, feel free to use a Ziploc bag. We're going to place our salmon mix in the bottom of the bag. Once we have everything in the bag, we're going to level it off. Just press onto it, just filling all the corners and nooks and crannies. What we're trying is to make kind of a square patty, something that we can cut after into uniform shapes. So once we have our patty with the air all taken out, we're going to fold it over, grab a clip and drop it into our sous vide machine. Make sure it's completely submerged. We're gonna clip it on. Our salmon's gonna sit in our circulator for about 35 to 45 minutes. When it's finished, we're gonna place it in the fridge to cool it down really quick and then portion it. I already have one salmon patty already made, so now we can just portion it. We're just gonna open the bag Now it should be quite firm, but at the same point, you still want to be a little fra or a little careful with it because it is fragile. What we're going to do now is just square everything off. Now this little bit of scrap, there's no need to throw it out or waste it. A little bit of mayonnaise into it on a nice crusty piece of toast, absolutely beautiful.
So I'm going for four, but you probably could get six if you trimmed it just a, slit, a, a pinch smaller. So now that I have my four patties ready, we're gonna bread them. I already prepared a breading station. We have some flour, some egg and milk, and some panko crumb. From here, we can just season them up as we like. If you want to add a little bit of onion powder or garlic powder, maybe even a little chili powder to add some heat, feel free. I'm gonna go simple just with some salt and pepper. And you wanna make sure you season each station. Now that our season, seasoning's incorporated, we're gonna go for our breading. Keep one hand dry, one hand wet. Make sure to shake off any of the excess flour. Into the egg mixture. Make sure it's well coated. There's no spot showing up as dry, like right there. And then we're gonna go into the panko with our dry hand. Now, some people would like a little heavier breading. Feel free, if you wanna do it a second time to have a crispier or thicker breading, just go back to the egg and then to the bread again. So now we have our salmon burgers completely breaded, we're going to go to the deep fryer. I'm using an open pot with a thermometer. I'm going to be standing close so I can keep an eye on it. Depending on your skill level, I would suggest perhaps maybe using a household model uh, that's made for deep frying. Just this can be quite risky and you don't want to have a house fire. So we're going to just drop those in and wait for them to become golden brown roughly about two minutes. What I'm looking for here is a consistent golden brown across the entire burger. So we're gonna lay it on paper towel, just tap it dry, just to soak up any of that excess oil. You don't want that coming out on the plate. Some salt. Now we're going to assemble our burgers. I have two brioche buns that I previously grilled. Make sure you always grill the buns. It's a crime not to. Make sure you have your bottoms in the right spot. Easy mistake. I have a turmeric dill mayonnaise I'm gonna put on the bottom. Feel free to use any of your own condiments. Really, this comes down to preference. And for the top, I have a beautiful blueberry mustard, of course, using Canadian blueberries. And this is a Pomery mustard, so it's a grainy mustard. Now we're going to start off with some pea shoots for our base. Our salmon burger. I have some cucumber that I just ribboned on the mandolin with some sliced red onion. We're gonna just throw this in the bowl. And this is kind of gonna work as like a slaw. Some salt. And then just a simple vinaigrette. Stack these up nice and high. Make sure you get some onion in there as well. That adds the sharpness to the dish. We're gonna flip our buns on. 
Now, of course, we can't finish a burger without a pickle. These are some of my homemade pickles. Just gonna spike them on. Now this recipe is a little rich. If you wanna continue on that path, some waffle fries are a great addition, or if you wanna lighten it a little, maybe a side salad. We're gonna go with the waffle fries. And there you have it, that's our Atlantic Salmon Burger. For more recipes like this and many more, please check out seafoodfromcanada.com.